Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and this is Chris Astrology. Today I will be talking about Enneagram 5 and their attitude to the relationships. So the first thing I would probably need to say about Enneagram 5 that it has very interesting attitude towards the relationships. Because to be honest, I believe that with people think about relationship and sex much more than they usually involved in it. And it's mostly because uh, usually such people have very curious minds. So if they're curious about sex, they'll probably uh, watch like a lot of uh, sexology YouTube, maybe some porn, maybe just some romantic or erotic novels. But it can be kind of hard for them to make themselves go outside and meet people. Because yes, in a ground five is uh, pretty nice people and they're cute. And to be honest, I have very positive experience with them usually, but uh, often they can be very introverted. And most of the time we don't really need people around them that much. So if when Eve and Enneagram 5s get into a relationship, we'll probably want to have some distance and it's not a type to have a lot of sexual partners during their lifetime. Because yeah, Enneagram 5 just lets for a long time and just like to be in their safe place. And uh, that's why we mostly like to talk about sex or um, relationship, but they can be more distant with them in real life. Like I know it's not a personal experience or even a real life experience, but uh, it really reminds me of Al from Death Note. Like um, I think it's pretty obvious that he's Enneagram 5 and he was typed as Enneagram 5 wing 4 on personality database. And um, I like how they overshot his sexuality in the show because uh, he has very interest, he has a pretty normal and even maybe a little bit strong interest in the sex because he's in his 20s and he's interested to see how light develops his sexuality, how his uh, relationship is going with his girlfriend. But um, as everybody knows, um, it was stated multiple times by the overs that Al himself is uh, asexual and he put himself more into job and career in which he was pretty successful instead of having sex or being sexual. Because I believe such people, yeah, they can be interested in sexuality, especially in younger ages, but they would prefer to just um, absorb it in literature, porn, movies, then really get involved in it. Because we like our personal space and it kind of would be weird for them to just go to a club and sleep with those person to see. So we looking for something really serious and unfortunately it's hard to find our days. So we don't have much partners in their lives as I said before. So the, the only thing that I think is kind of interesting uh, about Enneagram 5 and its wings, the difference is that Enneagram 5 and 4 is a little bit more artistic and it makes them more kinky. Because I believe that such uh, Enneagram would uh, have more open-minded ideas about sexuality. Uh, because Enneagram 4 is very creative, so having a 4 wing would make Enneagram 5 wing 4 a little bit more curious about sexuality. So such people can be um, more experimental with gender approach. They can be gender fluid or non-binary or just more doing like what we want with gender norms. We would probably have our own style. I don't really think if it's masculine or feminine enough. And they can also be bisexual, gay, lesbian, or even polyamorous because um, they would want to explore a little bit more. And uh, being in a ground five, we would not really care about uh, our opinions. We can even be in king community. And I don't think it's for sexual reasons because we would still be very selective with partners, but we would probably want to have one or two very close partners uh, at the same moment with whom we would want to explore and just be creative with our sexual and sexual approach and their gender. But I still think they would probably be very selective of our partners. 
even if um, Enneagram 5 would prefer to do something more kinky or open-minded, as I said before, yeah, I don't think this person would ever have understand. Or even if they have understand, it would probably be at very young age and it will probably be very detached. Like, I can't imagine them going on a date just to have a hookup. Because like Enneagram five would, would not be interested just to talk to somebody just to have a hookup. Would probably just be very detached and very understand if they have it. So uh, I don't think it would be that plausible for both sides. But if you're into it, like it's up to you. But yeah. But Enneagram five and six is a little bit more conservative with their sexuality. To be honest, I have um, my sister is Enneagram five and six and. Uh, she is a uh, king community, uh, so probably in a ground five and six can be more open-minded sometimes as well. But usually they're even more selective with our partners because in a ground six is very safety-based and secure-based, so we would definitely not like, yeah, we would need very heavy trust of somebody just, yeah, to even go on a date with. Because although my sister is, um, um, practicing some king community things, she's still very serious about her relationships and she hates when random people just approach her on the street because, yeah, she really needs the trust and um, she's very selective. Uh, so, Enneagram 5 and 6 can be even asexual because I think such people would probably. Uh, look for very deep connection with very selected people. So if they even would be in relation with you, it will never be for sexual reasons. It will be for romantic reasons. And uh, as you know, in a grand five, uh, very rarely finds people to be uh, like good enough of them to be romantic interested in. So I believe that in a grand five and six would be probably one of the most loyal partners because if they select you, it probably means you might have a very soulmate. Because if you're just like beautiful or smart, it's not enough to be for one to be interested in you. You should be like 100% what we were looking for, for them to even think about dating you. Because yeah, we would not want to date a lot of people. We would probably would like to stick with one person and just, yeah just have a very long-term relationship. Like my mom is in a grand five and six and uh, she got married with my dad pretty early. And uh, she have been with him for almost 30 years because she's very selective with people. She doesn't have much friends, but she just finds that she's very comfortable with my dad. She has stayed multiple times, but she often gets tied around other people, but she never gets tied with my, around my dad. Uh, like, I mean, in social settings and um, yeah. I think uh, to attract an Enneagram 5, you should never uh, violate their independence and uh, you should give them a lot of space. But what I learned from my sister and your mom, you should never make Enneagram 5 feel tight in your company. So we would probably like um, to be pretty chill with our partner, probably like read books together, do their hobbies together. like. My mom and my dad work in the same field. So like we do a lot of like research together and like a lot of like discussing what we're interested in together. So yeah, I think to be an Enneagram 5 soulmate, you should be pretty quiet, pretty respectful of our independence, pretty open to their quirks and kinks because I think all of them have some kinky side, even if they're very selective and uh, very picky and even have like more sensory preferences but yeah and uh, you should definitely respect their interests and be a part of them even if you don't want to be a part of them just you should like just let them talk about it and see what you personally interested in because i believe uh, unfortunately enneagram 5 usually puts their interests and in, uh, work uh, kind of ahead of relationship with very loyal as I said before and uh, they really want to have a long-term relationship because they very selective with people and they, yeah we just don't want to like experiment more uh, so but they would probably still be much more career oriented and um, 
just yeah just exploring what we're interested in instead of just dating around because yeah we kind of want to do their alone time thing more than just go socializing uh we're very loyal friends usually and very loyal partners and uh, if you respect their freedom and their interests it can be a very good couple but just never be too much for them because me is an around seven wing eight i yeah i'm like my sister and my mom sometimes like i sometimes can take too much of a space just because i'm i'm an anagram seven like i can be sometimes loud and I like, I like to go on adventures and sometimes like they don't really want to go with me because uh, we want to stay at home and just do their research and i also had a long-term partner who was an anagram five and we had very healthy relationship i still think of him as very good friend but um uh, once when uh, I was in my dark side, when I was more as Enneagram 1 and, you know, when Enneagram 7 wing 8 can go into more negative side, they can be pretty loud and pretty demanding. And like he told me that he thinks I'm sometimes going to be too much. Uh, like he liked me for me being adventurous and giving him some uh, independence because Instagram seven also wants independence and just being fun and cute and uh, liking to go like do fun things with me because yeah like he wanted to have somebody who would distract him from his work and uh, I was that person because Instagram seven likes fun and um, yeah I just was like more like a comfort character in his life but um, yeah like if you become demanding or negative. Um, we sometimes can thank you too much. So just don't do it that often because, um, yeah, Instagram five would want to have a person around them who would stay for a long haul and uh, would not take away their independence and their comfort of being in a long time. Because yeah, we're pretty nerdy, we interested in what we want and uh, yeah, we, just want to do what we're interested in the most thing. And uh, yeah, we can be experimental and they can be pretty open-minded about sexuality. Sometimes even Enneagram five and six, it's based on a partner more. But if we think that um, you take in too much space or you just being too demanding or too jealous, we would prefer to just um, read about such uh, interests uh, in sexuality instead of just like, going with somebody who we don't trust just to feel something i hope you enjoyed my video i will making uh, most likely next week a video about enneagram six and their personality sexuality and uh, how they behave in uh, dating world well, i'm dating an enneagram six uh, probably wing five like um she's pretty balanced on both wings but i assume she's enneagram wing five uh, so i have pretty good understanding about what enneagram six is and uh, i also will be doing video about virgo venus i have known a lot of venus Virgos people as well so yeah with two videos will probably be pretty personal so if you want to see them please subscribe uh, please follow my instagram i have been posting much more so yeah if you want to see more content Follow me on Instagram and uh, yeah, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye. Hope I to see you soon in my next videos. Yeah, have a nice day.